Hi there folks, this is the Uniform Guy again, here with another video. This time it is how to fit a sling to a SA80. This particular version I have here is the L85A1 with a SUSAT fitted on top. I'm going to show you how to fit the NATO issue 2 point sling which can convert into a 3 point sling. Hopefully I'll get this right first time. I haven't actually fitted a sling to one of these weapons in like 10 years. So let's see if we get this right. Now first off down here you'll notice the sling. Uh, this is a full size weapon. It's just I've got the camera on a stand as you can see by the leg here. So moving down, I'll get the sling. There we go, see. Big sling, massive gun. We'll um, unravel it. And then what you'll notice if you've got buckle assembly here, which actually undoes, the sling does come technically in two parts. Um, this is your main part. Now you notice one part of the sling has a buckle and a loop on it, and the other is just pure webbing. Right, so what we do is we go down we're paying attention to the front of the rifle first we put the webbing through the front of the rifle pull it all the way through until our buckle assembly is right there then what we do is we take the webbing strap back and we feed it through the metal buckle like that then what you're looking to do is take the end of this and you're putting it through the ladder lock here. Uh, just a simple poke through, nothing too serious. And then you fold the entire assembly over. Now what you want to do is make sure this metal loop here is as close to the sling loop as possible. It makes life a lot easier later on. Now you're taking this part of the strap throwing it to one side for the moment. Taking this part of the strap, going through the rear um, sling loop, and then through, just pull it through as far as it'll go, simple as, and now we're getting this part back, you obviously make sure it's nice and flush and straight. Now what you're doing is you're taking this part you're going to feed it through the buckle here. So watch as I do this. It can be quite tight on some of them. It can also be quite loose. But that's one end through there. And as you can see why I'm using a stand now. Because it's quite difficult even with two hands. But we pull the other strap through like that. Now some of you might be wondering what this loop is for. When you want to adjust your strap, you put four fingers in here like that, grab this bit like that, and pull. And that adjusts your strap. So as you see, at the moment, that's in a two-point configuration. All I need to do, undo this clip, and it now instantly becomes a three-point. So this loop is around your shoulder, and you can point the front end wherever you want. Now, I hope that's helpful to you out there who use the two point to three point sling. I will probably do another video in the future showing you how to fit it to your one point sling if you have the Osprey Mark IV with a one point sling setup. Personally, I prefer this one because I'm not relying on a little buckle like this to hold the entire weight of the weapon because this is pretty damn heavy. You know, this is not a, this is not a toy. This is a weapon. And you don't want it dangling by a bit of plastic. And that was my phone slipping off the stand there. It was not anybody having a seizure, but there you go. There's the SA80. Hope you enjoy this video and tune in again soon.